all of you hope you guys are great welcome back to yet another video in this video you will learn that how you can build an api for ethereum blockchain where you can call the contract you can update the contract you can get the data from the smart contract so i believe that this will give you a very good learning and you can able to build your own api and you're going to interact with a smart contract so this is the complete project which i have built this is the entire code i have written for my api and you can see i am using hard hat you can use truffle whatever you are comfortable with so this is the contract it's a basic contract i have written what this contract does it will allow me to get the number and i can able to set the number in the contracts these are the two functions we have you can write big as big as you want so that looks absolutely fine so let me give you a quick overview that how it's going to look and how it's going to work so what i will do i i'll open my terminal and here the very first thing i have to do is i have to initialize my hard hat local blockchain so i'll type np x hard hat node and if you hit enter it will initialize the local blockchain and it will give you close to 20 accounts which you can utilize for testing your contract so let me clear my terminal and now the thing i have to do is add i have to simply deploy the contract so i'll go back up i'll go back up and uh, where it is where it is okay so this is the contract no okay this is my deploy script for the local and i'm going to simply call it if i come back to my script you can see this is the i'll show you later let me deploy that first and let me show you if i hit enter this is the contract i have that looks fine i'll simply grab that one so i have deployed that one now i have to simply run the command so what is the command i've given let's come back to the package json file and this is my start script so all i have to do is i have to type npm st at start and hit enter this will initialize my api you can see my my server is working fine so now all i have to do is come back so let me do one thing i can i cannot switch it okay i can switch so all i will do i'll come back here i'll go back to my postman where i can make the request so i'll click on this postman you can use your visual code studio you can install a extension where you can make all your api requests but i'm li really like this this postman for making my api request so you can see that this is the url which i have built if i make a request i can able to get the data so right now you can see the current block is zero the current number which i have in the smart contract is zero so if i come back to my contract and uh, this is the function which i'm calling this is the function which i'm calling get number and currently we have the number is zero and now i want to set the number so this is the same point end point where i'm going to make a request so i'll come here i'll call this post method because this time i'm going to write something so all i have to do is come here click on the body and here you have to select the jsons i have already done that and now i'm going to set the value to four so what i will do i'll simply click on the send request and here you can see the number set successfully now if i switch back to get if I click on this, I can able to find the number four. You can see how powerful it is. We can easily able to interact with a smart contract and call the function and you can change the data in the contract. So that's absolutely fine. Now let's start writing this entire code from scratch. Make it big. And now let me close this one and let me give you a quick overview of the entire project because I'm not going to show you the installation because we have already done that. If you haven't know if you don't know how to do the installation make sure to watch the nft marketplace and that i have explained every single thing so i have the artifacts i have the cache which you don't need to worry about that this is the contract i have i have simple simple contract in this this is the node module and this is my deploy script inside that i am simply deploying the contract which i have created and that looks pretty fine to me and the entire code we have written for making this api we have in this app.js app.js and here we have the we have the abi of the contract so what i did i simply deploy the contract and inside this contract i have simply taken out the abi and place in the root directory so these are the things we have done so far i believe that things are looking fine to all of you guys and if you come back to the packages and file so here we are using couple of packages we are using express we are using hard hat we are using node mon we are using web3 and we are using nomonic foundation coming from the hard hat toolbox for writing the contract okay so these are the setups i have done hope these are nothing new to all of you guys you are familiar with this and that looks fine now let's start working on our app.js file and let's write the code from scratch 
app.js file and in that we're going to write the entire code for our API. So first thing we have to import all the packages. So we need to have express and that's coming from express. We need to have web3 model and that's coming from web3. Now we have to import the my contract, the JSON. So I have already deployed the contract and I'm getting it. So require and that's coming from my main root directory. So as I've already shown you that I have taken out from my artifact and I have put into my root directory. So my contract.json. So this is the three imports we have done. Now let's import the contract ABI and that's coming from my contract ABI. So we have the contract JSON and from there we are getting the ABI. Hope so far things are making sense to all of you guys. Now let's come here. We have to create a contract address. So once you deploy the contract, this is the address we'll get. And this is the very common address you will get whenever you will deploy your contract for the very first time. This is the exact address. So let me type it very quickly. And in case of you have to type your own address after deploying the, your contract. So this is the contract we have here. Now let's create the RPC endpoint. So this endpoint something like this okay so this one is the very common endpoint which i found when it's come to interact with the ethereum node and when i was testing with the other variables it was throwing me in an error but when i tested with this exact value for my rpc end endpoint it was absolutely working fine so make sure to go with the exact endpoint so this is the rpc endpoint and you can type your own you can play with around that okay now let's come here we have to take our app so we have to take the express and now we have to create our express server so in that we're going to say web3 model and we're going to create this new web3 model and in that we have to pass this provider so we're going to take this http provider and in that we have to pass the rpc url endpoint so this is nothing new to all of you guys if you guys have followed the nft marketplace and if you're watching this video right from here make sure to check the complete project we have built it was close to 20 hours long project in that we have built nft marketplace and unisop clone so make sure to watch that so this is the web3 and app express we have now let's come here here we're going to create a contract and in that we're going to use the new web3 model and we're going to interact with the contract so in that we have to pass the abi of the contract and the address of the contract so this way we can easily able to interact with the contract and we have the contract now what i will do we'll go to create a middleware if you don't utilize this one so if you don't write this you can able to read the data but you can't able to write it so make sure to use this middleware app.use express and if you want to learn about the api development then make sure to check my complete course on api it's a amazing course we have worked a lot of hard work in we have done in that and it's a close to 12 hour long video so make sure to, to check that as well so that's the API we have the middleware and now we have to generate the endpoints on which we're going to make the call. So first thing we go to create the get method because we have to get the data from the contract. And this is the endpoint we are defining slash number. It's going to be async functions and that we have to pass the request and response. And that we're going to say const number await contract dot method and we're going to call the function. So we have the contract. And that we are calling this method and we are calling the function we have in the contract so this is the function we have get number and this will give us the number of the of that contract okay and that we're going to call this call function okay so hope this thing makes sense if it's still confusion make sure to rewatch and make sure to watch continue okay? and then we have to simply send the response in the json format so we're going to simply send the response in number so this is the get method now we have to create a post method we're going to take the same endpoint. We'll take the request response and we're going to create a number. And in that, we're going to take this body because this data will come from the body because we're going to make a post request on this. So the data is available in the body. And from there, we are deconstructing it and we are getting that number. Once we have the number, we're going to take that account, which we're going to utilize for making the transaction. So this will give us the accounts, all the accounts. And from all the accounts, we have to get the we uh, accounts and we're going to call this method we'll say set number uh, okay so we're going to call this set number function and in that we're going to pass this number and we're going to call this send function and in that we're going to pass the first account because this will give you an array of accounts and we are calling the send message and we are passing this account zero index so we are taking the first account and we're going to simply send the response back 
to the user when he, the transaction will be successfully completed so we'll say number set successfully that looks fine everything's looking good now we're going to create our port so we're going to listen our port on 3000 so we'll say 3000 and that's looking fine server listening on port 3000 and that's pretty much so this is the entire code we have written everything is working fine now if you can open the and you can simply deploy the contract make sure to check one more time so what i will do i'll come here i'll run my local blockchains then i will deploy the contract let's deploy it and this is the exact address you will get when you will deploy the very first contract and once i have deployed the contract i have to run my server so i'll say npm start and here my server is running now i will come back to the postman so what i'll do i'll come here and i'm going to simply minimize that one and i'll come to and open the postman you can see this is what i have and if i call here if i come here if i make a get request i'll get a zero okay still i get four and this is the get method because we are using the same contract and that's why we're getting it if you come to the post one and if you make a request this time i will go with let's say eight if i make a request you can see the data is successful now if you'll come here and make a request and you will see that the data is eight so you can see everything is looking absolutely fine our api is working and this is how you can interact with the contract through api so if you want me to build a more robust api for the contract interacting with the smart contract then do let me know in the comment section give me some idea that what kind of project we can build through this api where we're going to interact with the smart contract so hope this time you have learned something new that how you can create an api and how you can interact with your smart contract okay so these are the things is really very helpful when you are working on a project where you are monitoring the price of the tokens and you are providing the shops you are building bot which can run on the decentralized space so on those post pur purpose this is absolutely amazing that you should know how to work around this so hope this entire thing makes sense if you still have any confusion in doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to solve that and do let me know in the comment section that What's your idea about building a project using this API and interacting with the contract? For the time being, that's the only thing I want to talk about. If you if you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. That will motivate me a lot. And do let me know in the comment section how is this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.